video, we looked at reading and writing data to a file. And for this Bob's Ice Cream Palace app, we got flavors from a text file named flavors.txt. And we were able to change those flavors by adding a new flavor, removing a flavor, and then saving those back out. So the next time we run the app, we could load those new flavors back in. But what if our app had multiple text files we might want to pull from? Maybe we have different months of flavors, or maybe a weekend set of flavors versus a weekday set of flavors. So in this case, I have three flavors text files. We have flavors, flavors2, and flavors3.txt. And I'd like to be able to choose from either one of those. And of course, we're used to when we open a file, being able to go to the file menu and choose open and have a dialog box that we can choose from. Maybe we want to browse and we can choose a directory we want to choose from. We can also choose a file type. Select a file and click open. What we're seeing here is what we call the standard open file dialog. And we can actually use this in our C Sharp project. So I'm going to go back to C Sharp. And what I'm going to do is go into my toolbox. Let's stretch this out a little bit. So I'm going to come down to Dialogs and choose the Open File Dialog. I'm just going to drag it to my project. And in the system tray at the bottom here for my project, I get the object of Open File Dialog 1. And it has properties like any other control. It's not a visible control, at least not on our interface, but will be visible when we, when we call this. And I'm going to rename this. Uh, OFD for open file dialog and I'm just going to call it OFD flavors. Now we'll look at a couple things here in the properties. So what is I can give my my file a default file name. I'm going to call my my default file flavors.txt and then we have some filters and I can set up collections of filters, which are basically where you choose to, to search for a particular type of file. I'm going to say text files star.txt because I'm looking for a text file and the wildcard asterisk.txt and then I'm going to do a vertical pipe and I'm going to tell it what to look for and that is an asterisk.txt. So I separate the display versus what it's looking for with a vertical pipe. And a vertical pipe, of course, is a shift backslash. Now I'm going to do another vertical pipe because I can do these in multiple pairs. And this one's simply going to say all files. And then I'll do a star dot star in parentheses, another vertical pipe. And this one will be a star dot star or asterisk dot asterisk. So what I have here are two pairs, and each pair is separated by a vertical pipe, and each item in the pair is separated by a vertical pipe. I can set an initial directory. Maybe you want this to start in C colon backslash, uh, or maybe you want it to start in the user's directory. So you can set a directory. You can set a title. So I'm going to say open a flavors text file. And those are the main properties I'm concerned with for now. Let's use this to decide which file we want to open. I'm going to go back to that get flavors button, double click on it, and here's our code. I'm going to come up here to the top and add a string of my file. It currently is going to equal nothing, just a null string. And then in my btn get flavors, I'm going to say OFD flavors dot show dialog. That's going to open up that file dialog. And then I'm going to say my file equals OFD flavors dot file name. And so file name will be what we select in that file dialog. And if my file equals quote quote, in other words, they closed out that file maybe before they chose something, 
Let's just make this, it does not equal quotes, quote, quote. So they did choose something. Then what we want to do is set up our stream reader. So I'm just going to take this code and paste it. And what I want to set up, rather than flavors.txt in our open text method of the file, is I want to say open my file. Okay, well, let's try this. And I'm going to click get flavors. And here's my open file dialog. Looks very similar to what we would see in something like Microsoft Word or Excel or Photoshop. Notice I have two items here. I can look for text files that end in a .txt, or I can look for all files. So if I choose all files, I'm going to see all files. And if I go back to choosing text files, there are the three text files that are in my current directory. But I could choose a different path. I could search my thumb drive or an external drive. So I'm going to choose flavors 2 and say open. And there are my flavors starting with awesome amaretto and going through strawberry fields forever. Let me do this again. This time I'll just do flavors. Open. And now I get a different set of flavors starting with blackberry pie down to winter wonderland. Let's do the third one. Flavors 3.txt. And here we're going with Andy's Mint Crunch down to who's minding the mint. So that's how we can choose different files to open in our project using a standard open file dialog. Now let's next look at how do we make changes and save these back out to different files. I'm going to go back to my design form and come back into my toolbox. And this time I'm going to bring up a save file dialog and add that to my project. And I'm going to name this SFD flavors. I actually want to do the exact same uh, filters. So I'm going to come back and just select those filters from my open file dialog. Copy. Come back to the save file dialog and paste. And I'm not going to bother to set a file name at this point. I am going to set a title though of save flavors to a text file. And again, I can set up an initial directory if I wanted. I'm not going to bother to do that. And let's go into our save flavors. So we'd save that file of my file up here, uh, since it was a, a class level variable. When we chose that in our open file, we're storing that file. And chances are I may want to save out to that exact same file. So we're going to make that our default. So we're going to say SFD flavors dot file name equals my file. And that does include a path. And then we'll open up our file and give them the chance to choose a different file name and or location. So SFD flavors dot show dialog and again we'll set my file equal to sdf flavors dot file name and as we did before I'm going to do an if my file does not equal quote quote as long as they didn't cancel out of it and I see I got SDF rather than SFD here let me fix that error and we're going to take our code that we used to save the file paste that in and again we're going to change flavors.txt from the hard code to our variable of my file everything else remain the same. Well, let's test this again. So I'm going to start. Once again, we're going to get our flavors. And let's do flavors three. 
And maybe I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to get rid of the uh, pistachio nut chocolate. We'll just remove that. Let's add a new flavor. We'll just say um, Neapolitan. Let's just give it kind of a cool name. Let's say Neo Neapolitan. I'm going to say OK. That adds it into our list. I'm not going to add another one, so it's going to cancel out. And let's save that flavors. And so by default, it's looking for flavors3.txt, that file we, we created earlier. Now I could give it a new file name. I could even give it a new location if I wanted. I'm just going to click Save. So we're going to save back out over top that old file with our new Neo Neapolitan and the pistachio nut removed. Yes, it exists. I want to replace it. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to close my project. Now let's open that project again. Let's get flavors. Let's get flavors three. And there is our Neo Neapolitan and the pistachio nut is gone. So it saved our file back out, overriding the old file with our new flavors. I'm going to save this one more time. Let's, just, let's make a few more changes here. Since we got Andy's Mint Crunch and who's mining the mint, I'm going to get rid of the Andy's Mint Crunch. And we're going to get rid of the Payday Rich. And let's add a new flavor. Not initially one that I would care for, but I know there are kids out here who like bubble gum. Okay, now we're going to save this. But this time, we're going to save it as flavors 4 txt now, I don't need the whole path here I could get rid of the path if I wanted it's going to save it into this current directory here but I'm going to say save now let's go get flavors and now you notice there are four flavors there I can go back to my original flavors and then I could choose instead to bring up flavors four and we should have that bubble gum in the list and we do so that's using an open standard file dialog and a save file dialog to allow us to open and save files and choose their locations.